Welcome, Internet. Are you tired of seeing all your Unix burn friends and their funky rice setups and feeling just a little bit left out? Maybe you want to make your work setup a more keyboard-centric, instead of having to rely on the mouse all the time to manage your windows. Well, this video is right for you. Today I want to go over how to use i3 Window Manager in a nutshell. No extra bullshit, cut straight to the chase. So, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have i3 Window Manager installed on your computer. Well, easier said than done. Follow these commands on whatever distro you're on. And then go to your login screen, aka your session manager, by logging off what you are currently using, then making sure to switch to i3 Window Manager. Great! We are in i3, but I can't fucking do anything! Do not worry, here are some basic key commands for getting through the setup, and then you can become the based arch user your parents wanted you to be. Ahem, <clears throat> I mean, weird-ass friends. Let's focus on the simple things. In order to open a terminal, all you need to do is press Super Enter. Now you're a rock star. now you can type in all the keyboard warrior stuff that you want. Boom. If you want to make a window floating instead of tiling like this, all you need to do is do super shift space. And now it is floating. Holding super and left clicking will allow you to drag the window and right clicking resize. Super F is going to enable full screen. If you want to enable a split window vertically, press super V. And then, you're going to do the typical enter, 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 and now, they're opening vertically. To close those applications, you want to do Super Shift Q. To go back to horizontal mode, Super H. To go into resizing mode, all you need to do is do Super R. And then once you're in resizing mode, all you need to do is press the arrow keys in order to resize your window. If you don't like to use your arrow keys, all you need to do is literally just hold on super and then right click and you're able to resize that same exact window while tiled. To switch to another workspace, all you need to do is hold super and then press one of the keys on your keyboard. I'm going to choose 8. To open any application, all you need to do is go into D menu by doing super D, which opens an application menu that allows you to open applications. To search for the application you need to open, just type in the application and hit enter. In order to move an application to another workspace, all you need to do is hold super shift and then press the workspace you want to go to. Let's choose one. Now, this is in one. If you don't like the way your windows are laid out and don't want to switch to floating, you can switch to tab mode by doing super W. Now, you have different tabs to cycle through. To go back to the default, that's going to be Super E. To go to stacking, you're going to do Super S, and then now you have stacking windows over each other, just in case you, well, need that extra headroom. Finally, in order to escape this hellhole and exit the session, you're going to do Super Shift E. Now you have a prompt to exit the session.